Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at the report generator within the Horner XL4 all-in-one controller. And what this will do is we will create a report that will log on to the memory card located within the controller itself. So if you look at our screen, you will see our memory card is located right here. And that's what we're going to be logging on to. So let's take a look at uh, our, our example that we did last time, which was our um, process mixer. And we'll start that process mixer. F1. It fills up. It will add uh, ingredients A, B, and C. Then it will turn on the mixer for a certain time amount of time. And then it will empty that tank. So what we'll do is take a look at uh, on the on our software here. We've added just a couple of uh, items here. So when the sequence starts, it logs the real time clock, as well as when it's when the tank gets full, it will log when that happens, and then finally when the tank empties, it logs when that happens. And it's going down now. And what we'll do is we will um, go to recipes, this load recipe number two, and change it from our 30 to 20 seconds. Go back to our process, and we'll just energize that again or start that again. Watch that walk through. And in our controller itself, in order to uh, get these uh, reports generated, we go to the program and then go to Report Editor. Now, Report Editor will call up a screen. Let's bring that down a little bit. Bring it over. Okay. Which kind of looks like this. So, our report that we actually make, we do everything here in this Report Editor. And batch started, batch ended, tank filled, and then our mixer time, product A, product B, product C. And I write this just as I would a regular text file. If you notice here, this is where I can now put numeric data. And if I double click on it, you will see that this is the register that we've specified in the uh, PLC of where that data is coming from. So I can then tell how many deaths, like what the format is, what it's going to look like. I can have zero filled if I want and in my justification whether it's uh, left, center, or right. All right. So I'll put OK or cancel there. And I do that for everything. So my time here, this is where the register is for my hour, for my batch start. And again, instead of being the four digits, I now have only two. Just say OK. And now, once we have that written, what we do is we just, when it downloads into the controller, it automatically will write it or into there. So uh, there are a couple of registers that we need to set. So if we go File, and then we go Configure Control Registers. And this is my trigger. So this is my tank uh, sequence empty. So once that bit comes on, it actually triggers this report to write. And then my status of my um, report itself comes from register 500 um, which is my report status it gives me any error messages whether when we're writing or reading from that uh, media card the other thing that we need to set is actually the printer and this is really defaults to a, a serial printer but because uh, we have a media card we can use that media card so a configured printer and in here it tells you how many lines per page um, characters per line, then a carriage return. Um, our printout medium will be removable media, um, which is that card that we saw before. And then what we do is we put a file name on here that we want the file to go to, and we want to append to the file. So as each report hits, it just appends to that existing file. And that's all there is to set up. Once we have that done, then what we can do is, as we did before, we just ran that program. So, going back to our controller here, go into the media, 
And what I did was just uh, show one of the media um, settings that we can put on our XL4. If you hit that, you can actually see the M report here and have the size of it. So we have internal registers in this controller as well in which we can see what's, what size media we have in there, how many bytes available we have left, etc. Let's just escape out of there. And what we'll do is we will just unplug this card. So we'll just pop that out. And what you'll notice is that media automatically goes red, so it means that the card's no longer done. So we have all of our information here. What we'll do is plug that into our computer over here. And we will then call it up into Excel. And there we have it. So this is our first batch. So we did this. This is my uh, batch started, my batch end, and my tank filled time. Then I have my mixer time, my product A, B, and C. And we did it for the um, product number two, which I, which I start was 20 seconds. So that's when we did it. So there's my two batches that I did just previously. So you can see this is a very uh, useful, quick way of getting information in and out of the Horner PLC um, all in one. Now if you found this uh, helpful, there's, um, oh by the way, um, everything that we have on here can be seen on our website at accautomation.ca. So check it out. And there's three things you can do to help us out. That is, um, you can um, give us a thumbs up on this YouTube video and it helps other people find the information. The second thing you do is subscribe to our channel and what that will do is again help other people find this information and help them out. The third thing you do is um, go to our website ACC Automation and you subscribe to our website. When you do that we'll give you a couple of free links for some ebooks and we can also um, we'll give you an email every time we update the information so you'll have it first. All right, thanks for watching.